All right, here's question three on the math subject GRE practice test. This is test 3768. What we're told are that R and A are the radius and area of a circle. Hopefully you're comfortable with the area of a circle being equal to pi times the radius squared. And what we're being asked is if R increases by 40%, by what percent will A increase? Well, I think the most straightforward way to do this is think about A and R as representing the original radius and area. So then maybe the new area A1 would be equal to pi times the new radius squared. But instead of writing like r1 squared, we know that the new radius is 40% bigger than the old radius. So we could write 1.4 times r, the old radius. Simplifying this a little bit, uh, 1.4 squared, let's see, 14 times 14 is 196. So I guess this would be 1.96 r squared. In other words, 1.96 pi r squared. Our original area was pi r squared. Our new area is 1.96 pi r squared. You might be able to just look at that and tell that the area increased by 96%. If you have a hard time just seeing that, the way you could find out the percentage by which the area increased is take the new area and divide it by the old area. So the new area is 1.96 pi r squared. The old area is pi r squared. If I simplify, the pi's cancel out and the r squareds cancel out, so I get 1.96. In other words, 196%. What I'm saying is the new area is 196% of the old area, so the area increased by 196% minus 100%, kind of started at 100% and ended up at 196%, so it increased by 96%. That's probably enough on this, and I should just end this video, but I'm not good at that. I always have a lot to say, and there's one more thing I wanna say here. If you have a hard time reading this, if you have a hard time interpreting the fact that A1 divided by A equaling 196% means that the new area is 196% of the old area, what you could do is multiply both sides of this equation by A, which tells you A1 equals 196% A. And then if you do the little translation where the equal sign is the word is, and multiplication is the word of. We can translate this mathematical statement into an English statement. We got the new area, because remember that's what A1 represents, and then the equal sign translates to is, 196%, and the multiplication sign translates to of, and then A was the original area. The new area is 196% of the original area. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't put 196% as one of the answers. Maybe that was a little bit too tricky. Maybe you've noticed people confusing percentage of and percentage increase in everyday English. Like, I don't know, their bank account doubled, so they might be like, it increased by 200%. No, it didn't. It's 200% of what it used to be. It increased by 100% if it doubled. When you're interested in the percentage by which something increased, you have to make sure you subtract off the original 100%. Uh, one other option I want to give you to solve this problem, maybe not necessary, but just in case it helps anybody. Since they don't define the original radius or area, implied in this question is that no matter what the original radius and area are, if we increase the radius by 40%, the area is going to increase by the same amount. What that means is we can choose whatever the hell we want R and A to be equal to as long as they satisfy this equation here. What I'm saying is if this is a little bit too symbolic heavy for you, just pick whatever you want R to be equal to. I don't know, one maybe, or two, or three, or 10, or whatever. Any non-zero number you want here. I'll just choose one to make the math work out as nicely as possible. Then A would be equal to pi times one squared, in other words, pi. And our new radius, maybe R1, would be equal to 1.4, right? 40% more than one. I guess we could go through this same logic. If it increased by 40%, then it's 140% of, remember of means multiply, the original value of R, which was one, our new value of R is equal to 1.4. That tells us that our new area, maybe A1, is equal to pi times 1.4 squared. We've already seen that 1.4 squared is 1.96. So our new area is 1.96 pi. 1.96 pi divided by pi is equal to 1.96. We get the exact same answers that we got over here, that the area increased by 96%. It's just now we're not leaving R as a constant. 
we're plugging in some arbitrary number for r only because presumably that makes this easier to understand for somebody. I don't know, maybe that was a waste of time and I should have stopped this video after like one minute.